Hi there, I'm Angela, and in this video I'll be reviewing Becky from the Alexander Couture Collection by Rene of Paris in the color 60. That's straight ahead on Silver Linings. You just have to do it. If you're new here, Silver Linings is dedicated to the review of silver gray white wigs, hair pieces, toppers, and other times I'll talk about the care of our natural gray hair and other beauty related topics. Now let's get acquainted with Becky. Guess what? My husband came home and he likes it. And he likes me in longer wigs, at least down to here. So Becky is a short length. She's straight. She's ready to wear. She's got some beautiful layers cut into her. She is elegant. She's classy. She's a classic style. As you can see, she is a layered bob. She's got those side swept fringes. She flicks out at the very nape of the neck. Does it work right out of the box? I didn't really style it. All that I did was just took my comb and fluffed it up. I got it up off the root. And so you really kind of just put her on and go. What do you see when you look at Becky? She's kind of sweet. She's kind of nostalgic. Kind of reminds me of many, many years ago, if Dorothy Hamill had grown out her hair, it probably would have looked like this. Now, on me, she I have an average to large circumference on my head. And she is running a little small on me. Again, with Renee of Paris, a lot of times that, that uh, brand will run tight on me and I can already feel her moving <laughs> moving up on my moving up on my head. But I could I can get away with her if I use a little bit of it stays or perhaps a wig cap, but a wig cap might make it a little bit too too tight. So probably I would just use some it stays right at the top and maybe on the base of the neck. She did want to kind of flop, flop forward as she has a very heavy bang. You can see that. Uh, but all I did was I used some Jean Renault um, Easy Hair Holding Spray. I'll link it below. And so it was not hard to style out of the box. Very user friendly. Put it on your head. Give her a good shaking and go. Now, I am going to put a graphic um, right around this spot when I when I edit it, and you'll see there are two colors that will be together. This color, number 60, is the color that I have on. Now, again, I've got a lot of lights in this room, a great big ring light, and I've, I'm sitting in front of a bay window, and I've tried to bring the light down as much as possible so that I don't have too much of a glare and a shine on the wig. But in my opinion, again, unless you really want that stark, stark white, and a lot of people do. I mean, I'm all white, but it, there is no real dimension. So if I wanted some dimension in this wig, I would have to use some kind of a rooting powder. Maybe a light gray. Um, or maybe I I might just leave her just as she is. But if you if you're not really crazy about the white white, then pick her up in Silverstone. Silverstone is a medium brown blend and then it transitions to silver and then medium brown and then to silver bangs. So if you don't want so so much white then you could, but you love the style, then you could always look at the graphic that I'm inserting here and you can always go to the Silverstone. Now, in person, how the color looks. The whites are particularly difficult to film, everyone, because of the light that bounces off them. Even my, even my top here, I had some trouble just getting it to the real color that it was without it glaring in the camera. So she does have that beautiful monofilament top. So you could part her anywhere. Um, as a matter of fact, I did a review of this same wig for Wig Studio One, and I think, I can't remember now, but I think she came parted this way. I think she kind of wants to lay that way. And then because of that beautiful monofilament top, 
I simply just parted her on the other side. And when I did that, I actually liked her better. I'm not really sure why changing a part in our hair or in our wigs makes such a difference visually, but it happens a lot. That you just change a part and, and then it just has a different look. So if you don't like where she's parted, so you could pick her up like that if you wanted to. So after you change the direction of the part, as I was just showing, you can just pick her up. She has that beautiful monofilament top, and then you can part her anywhere you want. Now, there is a touch of permatease, not too much, um, but just enough so that she has a little bit of lift at the crown and at the sides. Now, I'm looking in my monitor, and I think... I probably know, or maybe I suspect what you think. You might be thinking she looks, oh, she looks wiggy. In person, she really doesn't. She really doesn't. And I know that there are a lot of you out there because I know my subscribers. I know who you are. I know what you like. And I think that this is a sweet, sweet style that's probably bringing back memories of, oh, I remember I used to get my hair cut like that. Wish I could find someone to cut it like that again. So, you know, give her a try if you're thinking she looks wiggy. She she really doesn't. A, a lot of it is just the monitor. So the more the longer I have Becky on my head, the more I like her. <laughs> I just feel like I wish she had some rooting, honestly. Um, but then here, uh, and I have the Widow's Peak. I want to give you a close-up of the the front there at the hairline. So you could see there, there's my Widow's Peak. But just a quick word about how she feels. She really does feel very, very soft. Doesn't she look sweet just tucked behind the ears? I'm telling you, the longer I have her on my head, the more I like her. Like I said, I think that she just needs a little bit of rooting powder, or maybe not. If you really love that the look of just the Snow White, you are going to love Becky. As I said, you really have to, you really would have to, if you really wanted to pick her up, you just have to be really careful and just make sure she, she scooches down just a little bit. You know, maybe you could just spray it kind of like that. If you want to show, if you wanted to show your whole forehead, I hope that makes sense. The bang direction is going toward the sides and the back and she layers about one half of the way down and then she just falls into these soft feminine kind of flips. She's very light. She's very soft. She moves very naturally. She's not a high density wig. She is tuckable. I saw another reviewer who said that that she was not tuckable. Don't agree. I think she's very tuckable. And She's tuckable. So you definitely could do that. She's comfortable. She really has the look of natural hair growing right out of the scalp because of that monofilament top. Absolutely. Mono now, if she was rooted, you'd probably see that a little bit better. But you absolutely cannot. She doesn't have that awful wig looking part. <laughs> so, so that's what I would do. I would just bring her up there at the at the crown and then just bring this part down just a little bit and hit her with a tiny little bit of spray. Get yourself a comb like this. And you'll be fine.
You'll be fine. Now, she's she's moving up my head. I can feel her moving up my head. So every once in a while, I have to pull her down so she doesn't look like she's too big on top of my head, if that makes sense. But so if you're petite to average, you're going to love this size. If you are average, you should be okay. But if you're average to large, it's going to be too small on your head. She weighs... 3.2 ounces, the fringe, which, or the bang, right here, this area right there is 5.91 inches, so almost six inches. Her crown, 7.87, so almost eight, from the crown down. And then the nape is about four inches, 3.94 to be exact, but about four inches. I do. I just wanted to say a word about a personal word about Becky. When I look at Becky, she reminds me very much of a wig that I had a while back and was one of my first wigs and actually one of the most watched videos on my channel. And her name is Eve by Envy. And I had her in the color light gray. And when my mother passed, she hardly had any hair on her head at all. And so we buried my mother in Eve. And so when I look at Becky, that's probably one of the reasons why I like her so much, because she reminds me of Eve. Oh. And I'm honoring my mother today because I have my mother's pin on. I actually bought this for my mother. Um, my goodness, 20, 25 years ago, a long time ago. It's just costume jewelry. But when my mom passed... Um, well, actually, no, just before my mother passed, I saw this in her jewelry box and I asked her if I could have it. And, and she, of course, she said yes. And so as I look in the monitor today, I'm just thinking about my mom and uh, how much I miss her and how much I love her. So I just thought I'd share a little personal moment with you. And I have to stop before I ruin my makeup. Okay. So just to give you an idea of how she moves, she moves pretty well. Definitely could get some lift with her, but if you don't want the lift, you can always just smooth her down. Smooth her down. A little piece there looks like it might need to be trimmed a little bit. Throw her on. You're out the door in less than a minute. I love it. I do want to take a moment and show you the box that Becky came in. What a pretty box. She goes great with my set, doesn't she? <laughs> I have to take a picture of that. But yeah, a very pretty box. And of course, she's on my head, so she's you're not going to see her in, in her house. With the tissue paper, of course. I just think this looks so rich. And then I always want to, I usually snap a picture of how the wig comes when I get her. I didn't used to do this, but now I do, so that I will remember how she looked as having come right from uh, the retailer. And then there's this cardboard insert, and it has kind of a crown thing here. If you're a wig wearer, you've seen these before. And the hair will just kind of cuddle around that little crown when she's in the box. And that and that helps keep her from moving. And, of course, she did have um, netting to keep the hair in place. I just think that's a beautiful presentation by Renee of Paris. Okay, so here is Becky's under the hood view. You can see there that she is open wefted, making her very, very cool on your head. You can see that little, how under the nape, she's going to kick or flip up when we reverse her. She has the adjustable bra extenders right there. She's got the covered ear tabs there with the metal stay 
so that she'll lay nice and flat. And one of the best things about Becky is right here, look at that huge monofilament top. Just wonderful because you could part her down the middle, you could part her on either side, you can part her left of center, right of center, just terrific. Well, thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to see similar styles to Becky, click on the card above. If you like, give it a like. Hit the little bell icon. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And remember, everybody, look for the silver lining. There's always one. Bye-bye.